better than going camping with my pals. Peaceful Acres under new management? What's up with this here? Hey ho, everybody! Woody, Woody! Somebody took over our favorite campground! Oh, yeah, they did! Where are we gonna camp now, Woody? Because I already pumped up my new air mattress and everything. Smorgasbord Acres. Camping. Free. Free camping. This is our lucky day, gang. Last one to set up makes the s'mores. <laughs> This is relaxing. Oh, yoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Bolivar. This smorgasbord acres is my campground, and I'm so happy you came to do fun stuff with me. I could just yodel. <laughs> this calls for a celebration, yeah. <laughs> Me, this is more of a funny farm than a campground. Let's amscray. You can't leave when we're just about to start the Speedy Olympics. The Speedy Olympics? Yeah, and I challenge you, Woodpecker. No way, Go Sheesh, let's get out of here. There's a prize. If you win, I cook your meals, clean your camp, and blow up your air mattresses every day with fresh mountain air flowing in from Sweden. Free camping and a camp butler? Oh, this could be plush. What's the big... Yikes! With this flaming wiener, I declare the Speed Olympics officially open. Let the games begin. The first event will be the mustache weightlifting contest. Whoever can lift these weights the highest, using only the power of the mustache, is the winner. Hey, I don't have a mustache. What kind of Olympics are these anyway? They're my Olympics. The Speed Olympic Committee is proud to provide you with this fake mustache at no charge. Uh, 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 looks like me and my pals are gonna have to make these our Olympics. Eat that, Woodpecker. Disco Club, lift the weights already. Yeah. 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 This can't be. You're the man, you're the winner. Yes, you won, Woody. Yeah. Not yet, Woodpecker. The next event is the Swedish Meatball Leap and Eat. We dive from that tower down into the meatballs and gravy. Whoever eats them all wins. Free grub in a tub. Now you're talking, Wally. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I show you a meatball dive. Size meatballs, Buster. They're the kind of meatballs I like, Woodpecker. <laughs> hey, no fair. That's cheating. Come on, Billy. the Speedy Olympics, huh? No way, Woodpecker. We have the final event. 
the herring pool. Whoever gets that flag on the other side of the lake wins. And they're going to be pulled by Johan and Gustav, the Herring Brothers. That's what I'm looking for, Go! Tilly, I'll go high. You go low. Get you, crazy woodpecker! Now do I win, Wally? No, there's still one more event. It's the. Uh... Second thought, I give up. You win, Woodpecker. Okay. Okay. You are the one, Woodpecker! Oh, yeah. Now, this is my kind of camping. Yoinky doinky. <laughs> Another emotional episode of As the Bread Rises. <laughs> These are government issued solar panels, Sergeant Hogwash. They can power the entire base. Is that understood? Sir, understood, sir! Hook them up double time. Then give one panel to every civilian in the nearby area. At ease. <sighs> Officers. Eh, I don't see any civilians in the area. So, I guess these extra panels are mine. <laughs> Perfect for heating up my new hot tub and sauna. Huh? Short stuff. Major didn't say nothing about no penguins getting solar panels. Slide part A in the holes in part B. That's easy as up two, three, four. Now attach part B to part C. Say, short stuff. Unauthorized removal of military equipment is against Arctic Corps regulation. Sneaky little prayer. Trying to outflank me, huh? Take that! And that! And that! Uh -oh. Not so fast, little buddy. One solar panel pilfering penguin discharged from this man's army. Time to light this candle. Funny. The engines burn away, but I didn't push the start button. Yet. That overdressed bird will not go a wall with my solar power. This detail is over. Nice touch. Very classy. And I know classy when I see it. Work is done. Time for fun. Now I'm in. Watch me swim. That's a fin. Hmm, this looks familiar. Must be a copy of one of them famous museum pieces. Venus to miles ago, that's it. Everything the enlisted man needs to have a good time in the tub. 
Huh? Who's messing with my duck? Hmm. Could have sworn that statue was over there before. Get back here, you! We are now in launch mode. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Brings back memories of the time when I was a military high dive champion. to use softer water. This calls for a frontal assault. Charge! Poor battlefield tactics, soldier. No retreat plan. Whoa! Tough being ground zero, ain't it? I was military bowling champion, too. Enemy off the starboard bow! Sneak attack! Battle stations! Every man for himself! Huh? Whoa! Seven, six o'clock! Gonna open this sardine can and extract one pesky penguin! <laughs> Get me out of here, you little tuxedo terrorist! Victory through air power! of impersonating a naval submarine commander. You may think you're winning this battle, soldiers, but I'm gonna win this war! <laughs> the coup de grace, my son. Soldier, I I can explain, sir. Saunas and hot tubs are not regulation, soldier. No, sir. Neither is your size. Not regulation, sir. I want this hot tub and this sauna off my base. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Way down here, sir. I'm busting you down to private. Understand, Pipsqueak? Sir, Pipsqueak, understand, sir. Hmm. Well, what do you know? A new pool hall in the neighborhood. I haven't played in ages. Oh, Twiggy, quick. Get busy. We got us a new customer to con. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, chum! Take a free shot, why don't you? It's on the house. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a great shot. Huh? Wow! I'm better than I remember. Say, you aren't by any chance here for the big contest today, are you? What contest? Well, whomsoever beats the champion, uh, that'd be me, wins a free lifetime pass to Buzz Buzzard's Pool Emporium. Free is my favorite thing. What's the catch? No catch, sport. That's just a simple one-time entry fee of uh, 25... 60, 75, uh, 9. Yeah, $79, and you're good to go. Hey, that's all the dough I got. But the good news is, if you, I mean, when you win, you get the entry fee back with your lifetime of free pool. 
The game is, first one to knock in a hundred balls wins. Yeah, on, buddy. <laughs> huh? Hey, that ball shouldn't have done that. Oh, my turn. Look, Haley's Comet. That's a disco ball. What? I sunk them all. Your turn again. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? No! There's something going on in here. Let me go. There's something in there, I tell ya. Ha <laughs> ha, you're seeing things. Shot again. Oh, this is the last time I ever get involved with it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? ah! no! Hold the phone. That's no pitcher. And this whole joint is rigged for cheating. Give me my money back. That's uh, the security staff. <laughs> and I don't cheat, Woodpecker, besides, in which I told you, you gotta win to get your dough back. Oh, yeah, boss, your favorite cue stick. I cleaned it and waxed it and tuned it up a lot. Bye. The more difficult the shots, the better I like it. To prove I ain't cheating, I'm gonna call my shots before I shoot. All the balls in the corner pocket, banking them off the lamp. <laughs> Another whole bunch of points for me. <laughs> I gotta fix this cheater's wagon. And I know just how to do it. Whoa! Oops, sorry. Off the jukebox. Over the most, out the door, and into the mailbox. That was so not regulation, boss. And more to the point, that woodpecker stole my cue stick. <laughs> off the cab, to the stop sign, off the manhole cover, and into the flower pot. Gosh, boss, you couldn't make that shot even with your trick cue stick. <laughs> then go make me make it, Tweaky. down the hallway and up two flights of stairs? Yeah! Into the sink! I gotta get a new job. Oh, this game's got my name written all over it, Woodpecker! And so does this jail cell. Jail? <laughs> Officer, this guy runs a crooked pool hall. Thanks, we've been trying to catch this buzz buzzard red-handed for a long time. You got a nice well, reward you know coming. I tell you, that woodpecker tricked me. He stole my pool cue. How's a guy supposed to win a game without a pool cue, I ask you? Is that an inequity or not? Oh. Think I'll go celebrate and play some more golf, highlight, Chinese checkers, anything but pool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with 
another cartoon. <laughs> Judgeship, she's a nutcase. I tell you, it's him, Your Honor, with his peck pecking and order in my court. This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> Is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! Now, first, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know! A woodpecker getting flushed down the john! A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller! A dinosaur eating a woodpecker! But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Mimi. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Oh, God! She's attacking me! Mimi! Ah! Stop! <laughs> Help me, Doc! What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. Huh. It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Uh, uh, my true inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mini. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Serves you right, Woodpecker! Oof! You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. 
Now when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 that does it, you screwy walking featherbed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! Uh -huh. So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pension, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. <laughs> This is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I hurt my Mommy. Well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Mimi. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup. I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Airmail delivery-like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level-like. Now, I know I've heard that sound before. Distant little penguin. Goodbye. Oh, a 
hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! Nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> Stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. It almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get 
you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust. Oh, Ferd. <laughs> 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 Back. Uh, Get off of me, you... <laughs> Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heat and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. It. I promise you don't want to whip of this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoop of Whatchamacallits. Hoop? <laughs> oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any hiccupoopters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! I still have you, my pride and <coughs> shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't. Wait a minute. These heekin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Uh, ah, Woodpecker, no! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Uh. Oh! Oh! Uh. Water. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm from the Book of World's Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hikapookters. That'd be him. Well, if they're truly record-breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super-duper Hikapooper thingies. I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he... You get nothing, Woodpecker! I give you a world record, Hikapukta. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. I know I can 
Ah, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. The Hika Pookters. Oh, no. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. What do you know? Lunch is served. <laughs> Hands off, wise guy. I'm taking a mail order course in Asian studies, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, the whole egg roll. And I will not be interrupted by your... Oh, now who could that be? It's my correspondence karate course. Says here I need a training partner. <laughs> and you're it. No way. Uh -uh. Woodpecker, I'll give you a year's free rent to train me for my big test. Did you say a year's free rent? But you must do everything I tell you, Mimi-san, for obedience is the way of the woodpecker. <laughs> To learn perfect karate rhythm, you must cut sushi rolls to the beat of ancient music. Use the strength of your wrist to flip the sushi over your shoulder and onto this plate without looking. Mm. Woodpecker, I'm a cobra. Hey, hey, Chummy, is that cheese for Wally Walrus? Nope. Says here it's for Woody Woodpecker. Have a nice day. I love a good stinky cheese. Yeah, you can hide, but you just can't run, Mimi. Are too good. She could be anywhere. <laughs> you 
you can run, but you can't hide, Woodpecker! I see your training is going well, Miss Beanie. I am here to test you. If I don't pass, no free rent for you, Woodpecker! Buddy, I need help. I'll give you my whole collection of kung fu movies on Betamax, but you gotta fight her for me. No can do, woody <laughs> The test begins No. Well, then there's only one way to play this. <laughs> you have no courage. You run like the nose of my sister's baby. Your red man is mine, infidel! Clone of Death, A plus. Thin <laughs> wheel of pain, most impressive. <laughs> Tight rope of terror, A plus again. <laughs> I must say, you are an amazing training partner, Woodpecker-san. Yeah, it's all just wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Woohoo! Mimi, you passed the karate test. That's a year's free rent for me. I should have taken French lessons. <laughs> Knock, knock, knocking on my door. Oh, is it one of my oh so many party guests arriving early, perhaps? Huh? <gasps> Strange. I do not see anyone who is there at all. I have moved to these farthest moist reaches of the Antarctic so that I could have parties as wild as I want and would not be disturbing people. <laughs> yeah, yet, my guests do not seem to be arriving for the party of the year. Hmm, I am wondering who of everyone I know can that be in my big comfortable water bed? Why, your little tuxedo is exquisite, my friend. <gasps> you are my very expensive caterer. Please, then, to go to the kitchen and work your little tails off preparing the party of the year. <clears throat> I have ordered this ice sculpture of the handsome horse, which would be me. Please decorate it with some pretty flowers and whatnot. Make it nice, colorful, plus make it snappy, my extremely petite little caterer. <laughs> what is my sleepy head caterer doing now? <laughs> it is so hard to find good help. Your behavior has outraged my sense of fair playing. I will now give you only one more chance, my little problem maker. Now get to work pulling the saltwater taffy. For it is whimsical and yet so unexpectedly transcontinental to serve taffy at the party of the year. <laughs> If that boy thinks he's getting a dip, he is sadly mistaken. Can I ask you something? Have you been a caterer for very long? Hmm? Aha! 
Ah, so you are no on the job. Uh, that would explain... Uh, what? If you are not no on the job and you are not... Uh, uh, wait a moment. A thought has now stricken a blow to my brain. You must be one of my specifically invited party guests. Uh, mm, are you the Canadian Prime Minister? Hey? Are you Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands? Wait, it cannot be so. You are my long lost cousin Serge, whom I have loved and missed dearly since childhood. Oh, I can now see it in your beady little eyes. Serge! Oh, we are reunited at long last. <laughs> Serge, you must help. The caterer has failed to arrive. Together alone, we must prepare for the party of the year. You will help me by inflating their balloons, yes? Then you will blow like zo. Now you. What is it now, my very irksome and not long enough lost cousin? <laughs> Perhaps it is what we call a blockage. Similar to what is the problem in that little head of yours, cousin Serge. <laughs> Remember how you used to dance to disco all the time when we were children, huh? Well, tonight you will do nothing but be my disc jockey, yes? Huh? Ah, listen to those crisp highs and boom titty boom lows. Huh? You are no caterer! You are not Cousin Serge! You are a party crasher! I punish you deeply from the party of the year! The guests will no doubting it be arriving soon. I will be on the lookout. <laughs> which is now breaking my back into measurable pieces! Uh-oh. Just ah! wait until I get my claws on you, you miserable... My guests! Welcome to the party of the... Huh? Are you, uh... Mr. Bear, we've had complaints of a loud party going on here. But this party has not even started, eh? Let's go, buddy. Come on. But this is an outrage, I'm telling you now. I will report you to the Prime Minister, the Princess of Outer Caledonia. And those people who... <laughs>